Hey, 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 and welcome to Belf Azra's foremost male strip club. Wait, hold on. That's not what we're here for. That is so not what we're here for. Well, as you can see, this is my um, scantily clad um, fire mage. I don't play him much anymore. I mained him at the start of Legion. Um, I have the uh, red version of the hidden artifact appearance, and I'm still fire because back at the start of Legion, fire is what was good. But right now, he's item level 825. Wait, no. I took Pride Eyes off. He's item level 882. 882. And doesn't really do much. Doesn't even have concordance yet. Hasn't finished his weapon. All he does is one purpose. And that is make me gold. Right? So that's the topic of today's video. How to make gold and how I personally pay for two accounts 100% with gold. How I played on two accounts for free. Yeah, that's right. You can play WoW for free using this one trick. Is that clickbaity enough? I'm not sure. Um, so you'll see over all my characters, I have 1.2 million gold, which is not a whole lot because I've actually kind of slowed down in the gold making department because, and I've started spending more because I don't have a desire to hoard a bunch of gold. Although I do love the hoard and play the hoard, I don't want to hoard a bunch of gold. I just want enough to be able to pay for both my subscriptions and still be comfortable so that if I take a few months off gold making, then I won't run out and I can still pay for my account. So let's get into this. So first and foremost, I'm going to give you the easiest, easiest, easiest way to do it. And that is class order hall quests. They show up occasionally. They are gold quests. They um, show up and the bonus for com getting the, the bonus reward uh, for basically completing that second roll gets you over 1.5k gold in itself. So normally you make around 1.6 to 1.7k gold off these um, order hall quests, right? They show up, I seem to have one every one and a half days or so, one every two days when it's rare. Um, right now I have two characters that can basically always 200% them. I have this guy and my main the warrior, but I'm working on building up some other guys so that I can just start farming those. Um, so if you think about it, if you go and you get about 1.6k gold every two days, that is 24,000 gold a month, right? So that's already eh, about a fifth of the way towards a WoW token. In fact, let's go look and see what WoW tokens are at right now. Right now, WoW token is at 130,000 gold. So a little bit less than a fifth of a WoW token you can get just from starting a mission every one and a half to two days. Now, number two which requires a little more grinding. Um, that is world quests with a, um, with a follower, right? I don't have any on this guy, uh, but I definitely, or actually I do I have a combat ally here. Aethus Sunreaver. Right now on this one, since I don't play this character much, I have a, um, I have a lack of order hall resources. So on this guy, I have the order hall resource world quest equipment but on my warrior which I'll show you um, at the end of this video um, I get 125 gold or so per world quest that I complete which is awesome so if you wanted to get a world if you wanted to get a uh, wow token for your month a hundred percent just playing the game the way you want to doing world quests because they're pretty fun they can get a little repetitive, but they are pretty fun. 
So that's 130,000 gold divided by 125 gold per world quest. That's 1,040 world quests a month. Divide that by 30 days in the month, and you're at 35 world quests per day. Now that can be a bit of a grind, right? Can be quite the grind. So let's take that 130,000 gold, subtract the 24,000 gold that you make that you make from your one character doing the gold mission. So you're at 106,000 gold. Now let's divide that by the 125 gold per world quest. That's 848 world quests. That's a whole lot more reasonable. Divide that by 30 days in the month, and you're at 28 world quests per day. Now that's still a bit of a grind. So how the heck am I, are you, am I, and is anyone supposed to play WoW for free, right? All right, then let me show you what I do and how I have made 100 or 1.15 million gold on this character. The 48,000 gold that you see on my warrior is actually all from doing world quests. I don't really use my warrior to pay for my WoW token, but he's always there making me gold just in case I run out of time. So what we're going to call today, or what we're going to call this method, which you may have heard before, um, and maybe you just didn't know what it was or how it worked. Today, it's going to be the tailoring shuffle. I'll repeat that for dramatic effect. The tailoring shuffle. All right, so what's the tailoring shuffle? So let's look at this. Let's get some numbers going first, right? Let's get some numbers. So we're going to look at Shalderai Silk. Currently, Shalderai Silk is selling at, well, while this loads, I use an add-on called TSM or Trade Skill Master. Uh, in the future, I will make a video on that and um, teach you the ins and outs, teach you what how I use it and all the basics like that. All right, so let's start out there. One Shalderai Silk is 4.87 gold. Now, let's go find Laylight Shards. It is a enchanting mat that gets used for every single, pretty much every enchant. They're 54.2 gold. So, let's um let's do the math here. Now, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, that you, using the tailoring shuffle, can acquire Laylight Shards for 43 gold, 83 silver, and then immediately resell them for 54 gold and 20 silver. It's that easy, folks. Now, let me tell you how you do it. So, let's go in here to tailoring. That's why it's called the tailoring shuffle, right? It requires you have two things. One, you have to have tailoring, and two, you have to have enchanting. Now, if you're using professions just to make money, then this is perfect. You shouldn't be afraid to drop any other professions you have so you can pick up this strategy. Otherwise, you might want to make an alt and get them up here to where you can do this. So let's go in here. We're going to look for silk weave bracers. And specifically, 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 don't forget this or else you're going to lose money. Make sure you have rank 3 tailoring silk weave bracers, which is one of the easiest rank 3 patterns to get, right? Um, so... Rank 1, you just get from the main quest line. Rank 2, you can just buy from a vendor. Either you buy it from a vendor, or it's part of the quest line. I'm not exactly sure, I don't remember. All I know is it's really easy to get. Rank 3 is just a world quest that pops up in Stormheim. And if you have rank 2 of Silkweave Bracers, it's going to pop up eventually. It might take up to a week or don't quote me on that because I don't want anybody angry coming back saying well my world quest hadn't popped up so what are you gonna do about it obviously I can't do anything about it so we're looking for silk weave bracers 
and it has to be level three because then you only use nine Shaldorai silk per craft and one runic cat gut, which you get for 12 silver, which is nominal and I don't even use it in my calculation. So let's go back to what we were doing, right? Let's go back to Shaldorai silk. And do we remember how much it cost? It was about four gold, 87 silver. If you multiply four gold, 87 silver, times nine, then you get 43 gold, 83 silver. And look, it's even gone down in silver. It's gone down by 37 silver. So that's 43 gold and 83 silver because you make the bracers. I'm gonna give you a quick example. I'm going to create one bracer. Now it is in my bag. Now I'm going to disenchant said bracer. And now I have a ley light shard. It's that easy, folks. It's that easy. I just turned 43 gold and 83 silver worth of Shalderai silk into a Laylight shard worth 54 gold and 2 silver. It's that easy. Now, what if you want to take this a step further? Well, let's look into that. Enchanting. I'm going to go ahead and preface this and say that a lot of the times, if you pick up enchanting and you plan on buying all of the mats, there's a lot of times where you're not going to make a profit. But if you do this tailoring shuffle, you're going to be one of the few out there who can turn a profit. So nobody's, not everybody's posting auctions below yours, so they sell rapid fire. They sell real quick, right? And once you have all these cheap Ley Light Shards, you can even Ley Shatter into cheap Arcana. It's real cheap compared to the Auction House. The only thing that you do have to buy are Chaos Crystals, and that's your only variable. You, gotta, you still gotta calculate, make sure you're making a profit on everything you make because Chaos Crystals can get expensive. When Chaos Crystals get expensive, one of these enchants might not turn a profit anymore. And you have to be wary of that. But let's go back to the easy way. And that's called just creating Ley Light Shards and flipping them. Oh, and the best part is, every time you create a purple bracer, you have a 10% chance of getting a Chaos Crystal, which sells for four times the cost of a Ley Light Shard currently, I believe. Let's go check it out. Chaos Crystal. So we had Ley Light Shards at 54 gold, and now Chaos Crystals should be, unless they tanked, they should be, yep, 195. So a little under four times the cost, and that's every and disenchants of a purple so there's luck on top of luck involved but that's besides the point because that's not the main um, that's not the main craft so let's do some math here currently according to TSM I can create 729 silk weave bracers let's just assume that they all become regular blues right and then I disenchant them all and I make 10 gold, 37 silver per ley line shard. Now, let's multiply that times the 729 bracers that I made. And look right there, that is 7,559 gold that I made in profit right there. And you can make a whole lot more if you go ahead and flip those and turn them into enchants. So, let's run through the process one more time. First, Make sure you have rank three of silk weave bracers. Second, go buy cheap Shalderai silk. Now, how do you know whether or not it's good enough to buy? Laylight shard. So what we're going to do here is 
we're going to take the price of the ley light shard which is 54 gold 28 silver multiply that times 0.95 because that takes care of the brokerage fee when you go and try and resell these ley light shards so that's 51.56 gold so we look at 51.56 gold and then we divide that by 9 that's 5.73 gold all right you following me here now let's go to Shalderai Silk. Let's go look that back up. Because once we have our number, 5.73 gold per silk, we can look at Shalderai Silk and we realize we can buy all of this silk in here and still turn a profit all the way up to this auction. Now, it's not going to get us a ton of profit if we go this high, so maybe it's worth stopping somewhere in here, because look at these auctions. There's not a lot of silk in these auctions, so we could probably stop right about here, 4.9 gold per silk, and we're still going to make a good profit. So once you figure out how much you can spend on silk, you buy the silk, make your bracers, disenchant your bracers, and then either continue into making enchants to sell on the auction house or just flip the ley light shards for a quick profit so that those are my ways of making gold and how i pay wow on two accounts for free every month so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and go share this video with your friends right because sharing is how we can all make a better World of Warcraft community together. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Blue Chip HD, signing off.